In St. Paul, Antiques Roadshow is Barry Weber appraised a brooch with a stone he believed to be citrine, or was it topaz? The answer was critical to its value. So what do our appraisers do in a case like this? They go to the experts at a certified gem laboratory. Barry, there are times on Antiques Roadshow when the appraisal doesn't end just because the camera stopped rolling. In this case, this lovely lady Pam brought this brooch and put it down in front of me and told a story. But you told me you bought this in a box that was in a box with what? Um, garden gnomes. So there was a box of garden gnomes at this auction. Yes. You didn't even know this was in there. No. So it had gotten to the point where, you know, does somebody want their choice for 20 bucks? And Third I go, choice. I can do that. Any, any choice. Your choice. Pick whatever you want, 20 bucks. 20 do you bucks. want it? I'll take it sold. It's yours for $20. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Pick the box. I want the gnomes. They took the box home, opened it up, took out the lawn gnomes, and in the bottom of the box was a jewelry box. She opened the jewelry box, saw some things that looked interesting, and decided to bring them to the Antiques Roadshow to see if they were any good. Any idea why we might be sitting here? It's probably worth more than the gnomes. This is platinum and real diamonds. No way. Way. No and way. And citrines, and it's Art Deco, and it's from the 1930s, and it says platinum right on it. And this is the kind of piece in my jewelry store sells for about six thousand dollars. Oh no, 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 no. After I did the appraisal, there were some remaining questions about the gemology of the stones in that particular brooch. We knew they were diamonds. We have field testers for diamonds. I knew it was platinum. We can test the metal. I saw a mark. But the yellow stones, there are many yellow stones, semi-precious and precious, and which stone that could be makes a big difference. My initial call was for yellow quartz or citrine, but I wanted to be sure. So you went to a friend of yours. Well, I got a hold of the producers, and they followed up and got the brooch shipped back to me in New York so that we could do further research on it. First, I did the microscope analysis to separate other possibilities, glass, synthetic stones, then I used the refractometer to give me a reading of what the actual material is, the refractive index of the material. The refractive index is a ratio of the light traveling through air and through a material. Each gemstone has its own refractive index, and the refractometer allows you to see the reading and therefore is an important feature for identification. There are certain characteristics that would tell me which gemstone it is based on the reading. Topaz is situated here. That and the microscope analysis made me uh, feel confident to say that it was topaz. What is the statistical error in this process? In this case, I felt pretty confident because there weren't any material other gemstones that were close in all the characteristics, the refractive index, the magnification, and uh, the color. So the next step is to send it to an accredited independent gem testing laboratory, the Gemological Institute of America, so that they could issue a report not influenced by anybody that was in my employ. I can tell by the look on your face that there's <laughs> good news for Pam. What did you find out about this brooch? Absolutely. Well, I had good news from George, but it's always nice to get the independent lab to confirm it and get that nice piece of paper from them, and we were able to do that. And uh, nothing but happy news there because that $20 box lot at auction that we then appraised at the roadshow as a citrine brooch for $6,000 now has a GIA lab report that its conclusion is its natural topaz. And that changes my insurance replacement value to $12,000. Double the money from citrine to topaz. Pays to get that second opinion. Yeah, and I, I wanted it, and I know Pam is going to be real happy about this.